I decided to make you this quick video to go along with this post we just put up on our site about fixing slow WooCommerce add to cart, something we get asked about a lot. How to fix slow add to cart in seven steps. Uh, we'll probably update it. There'll be more steps in the future, but I'll run you through the high level stuff, the stuff that makes the biggest impact. So probably the first thing to do, especially if you have an old site is to do some database optimization. Oh, by the way, you can find this on our website, wpspeedfix.com, WooCommerce dash slow dash add dash to dash cut. Um, and I'll link in the, the description below. Um, so probably, particularly if you have an old site that's been around for a while, the first thing you wanna do is optimize the database. We have this post on our website that talks about Word, uh, WooCommerce, sorry, WordPress database optimization. And this step here, step six, is probably the most important one. So, um, the WordPress database uses two different storage formats. There's an older one, MyISAM, and a newer one, InnoDB. So basically, the main difference between the two is with the older MyISAM tables, and there's a nice pretty kind of graphic here that highlights what the difference is. When someone is writing or when the site is writing to the database table with the old format, that database table is locked. So only one operation can happen at a time. With the newer format, InnoDB, uh, multiple writes can be happening to, the, to that database table at once so long as they're not in the same row. So it's kind of like if you had an Excel file um, where multiple people were accessing it, you'd only be able to have one person accessing it at once versus a Google Doc or Google Sheet where you can have multiple people working on it at the same time. And this is particularly important with anything related to WooCommerce, add to cart, checkout, doing anything on the site as a customer because when someone adds something to the cart, it is writing to the database. So if you're using the old storage engine, the MySAM one, essentially only one write can happen at a time. So the writes queue up at, at the database level. So basically with this newer format, the writes happen faster. So the system, the site can write to the database much faster. So there is a simple way. Now, before you do anything with this, make sure you have a backup, but there's a simple way, and it talks about it in this article, of how to convert the old tables to the new new format. And we use this plugin, ServeBolt Optimizer. It's from the hosting company, ServeBolt, but it has an option in there, basically a one-click option, where it will convert all the database tables to that newer format. So particularly if you have a site that's five or more years old, and definitely if you've got a site that's 10 years old, um, or more, you'll have this issue. And just by doing this step alone, you'll get a significant boost in anything add to cart, checkout, working the back end, working with orders, anything that's manipulating orders of data. So that's an easy one to start with. It's free. As long as you have a backup, it'll probably take you five or 10 minutes to install the plugin and run the optimization. But really make sure you have a backup before you do that. It's a very safe optimization, but things do go wrong. So just make sure you've got the database backed up. So I'd start with that. So that's a simple one. No matter what host you're on, this will make a difference. This also, this plugin also adds some indexes to some of the database tables. It makes them faster. So that would be an easy starting point that's free. It's not that hard to do. Install a plugin, click some buttons. Um, you'll see in there, I think it has some instructions there, database optimization. So just follow that, those two steps there. And you'll, it's a very easy plugin to use. I'll leave it at that. Um, let's talk about hosting. So no matter what, you're going to have to be on a good host for WooCommerce to be fast. An easy way to tell if you're on good hosting or not, are you paying less than 10 bucks a month for hosting? If you're on GoDaddy, HostGator, Bluehost, some cheapy host where it's a couple bucks a month, it's just not going to be good enough for WooCommerce. Basically, the difference between good hosting and crappy hosting is the cost of a cup of coffee versus the cost of you know a half decent lunch. So if you have a WooCommerce site, you really need to be on decent hosting. Um, and there's a couple of hosts that we recommend over at WP Speedfix site. We have a post on the fastest WooCommerce hosting. If probably, if you're somewhat technical, we'd recommend Cloudway, Cloudways, cways.net. Um, it's probably the best bang for buck in terms of value versus performance, but it is a bit more technical. But if you, you know, if, if you're running a WooCommerce site, you're probably somewhat technical already. That'd be the option to go with. If you're not technical at all, Kinsta would be the one to go with. It's a managed host. If you don't have much of a budget, SiteGround's probably good middle ground for there, but there's more hosts listed on that page. So you can go in and poke around and have a look. But you need to be on good hosting. So if you're on cheap, crappy hosting, 
that is a problem and the site will never go fast because those hosts basically make money. The reason why the host is two bucks a month is because they stack 50,000 other sites on the same server and run it as hard as possible. That's basically the difference between cheap hosting and good hosting. Dedicated resources, the server's not choked. So that's hosting, pretty straightforward. You've probably heard it a thousand times, but just to reiterate that it's not going to go fast if you're on bad hosting. The other one, probably another one, a simple one, may not necessarily be simple, is something new called high performance order storage. So traditionally in WooCommerce, the orders and products and everything else were stored as posts, which are, which are essentially just pages in the WordPress database. They're treated like pages. WooCommerce was kind of hacked into WordPress a long time ago. It was never, WordPress was never really designed initially to run an e-commerce site and WooCommerce was kind of hacked in. So high performance order storage essentially fixes that. It moves all the data for products, for orders, for customers out of that posts table into their own table, into their own tables. So basically it'll run much faster and these tables are optimized for products, orders, customers, whereas the posts table was optimized for pages. So there's a big difference there in terms of cart speed, checkout speed, doing stuff in the back end, managing orders, managing products. Um, it's a bit, it's okay, so to make this work, all the plugins on the site have to be compatible. So there's a few steps there. So you need to go into the WordPress settings and this post talks about it on the WooCommerce site. So you need to go into the WooCommerce settings, sorry. And basically the first step is to turn on an order synchronization or synchronization between the old tables and the new table. So that sync, depending on how many orders you have, if you have a few hundred, that'll be quick. If you have several thousand or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, it might take a couple of days to run. But um, so step one is to get that sync running and let it run. And then step two is to turn it on. In the settings area, I think it's under the advanced section, maybe features in the WooCommerce settings area. And I don't have a WooCommerce site open to show you, but there is a whole bunch of stuff here on how to, there it is there. So there's some screenshots there on this post for it. And again, we'll link in the description, but basically let that sync run. It'll tell you if their plugins are incompatible with that new high performance order storage tables. So if you do have plugins that are not compatible, the easiest way to solve that problem is log a support ticket and ask. There may actually be updates available, particularly if you have a lot of paid plugins that sit outside the Wucom, uh, sorry, WordPress ecosystem, they probably need manual updates. So you might have to resubscribe to update them, but there'll be a list for most sites, particularly if they're older sites, there will be a list there of plugins that are not compatible that need to be changed over. You need to fix that before you can turn it on. But this will make a huge difference to the speed. You might have, so you, particularly in the back end when you're managing orders and things like that, if the order takes two or three seconds to load in the back end, you might drop that, that down to half a second or one second. So it's much faster. And it will have an effect on the add to cart on the front of the site because those tables are so much faster and they're optimized for WooCommerce. Uh, so that's that. I'll link you that up in the description. And we talk about it in this post somewhere in here, enable high performance auto storage. There's some notes here about it um, and we'll link you up there too. The next one is to use a CDN. So we recommend using Cloudflare. They're the biggest CDN in the world. They have a free plan, but for a WooCommerce site, you wanna be using this service. It's only five bucks a month, automatic platform optimization. So what a CDN does essentially, if you're not familiar, it sits in front of the hosting. It's a distributed network of servers. There are, I think Cloudflare has 160 plus locations. So basically some of the workload is offloaded to those uh, CDN servers. So the CDN server does more of the work. It might take 50 to 80% of the workload off your hosting, which does a few things. It frees up the hosting so it has more processing power to do the things only it can do, like processing the add to carts, doing database work, um, doing things with orders and things like that. So it moves the workload off and it also moves the data closer to the user because the CDN is geographically distributed. So it's, you know, there are hundreds of servers around the world closer to the user that, than your hosting. The files will load faster for the user. <clears throat> and because they're, you know, you have hundreds of servers there, you can scale the traffic much higher. What this APO service does it takes that caching to another level. So it moves the entire page, not just the, the images and the JavaScript and the CSS, it moves the entire pages across onto Cloudflare's network. So until a user starts adding things to the card or starts logging into the site, 
almost all of the pages will be served up by Cloudflare. So that's a significant performance boost. And especially if you're running <coughs> paid traffic, um, it'll speed that up substantially. So if you're doing Google Shopping, it'll help a lot. So it's worth the five bucks a month. It's also available on the $20, $20 a month plan. Um, if you're making any money off the WooCommerce site, definitely worth doing. So check that out. What else do we have here in the list? Um, so we talked about CDN, optimize the database, hosting, <coughs> ah, manage WordPress plugins. So get rid of all plugins. So do an audit on the plugins. Anything you're not using, get rid of. Um, particularly all the plugins, plugins that haven't been updated in a while, they'll also be slow. Um, every plugin fires code. So the less plugins you have, the faster the site's going to load. So it's worth uh doing a cleanup there and making sure only the plugins you need are installed and they're up to date as well as dealing with plugins and making sure they're updated and clean and you know you're not running excessive plugins probably checking the php version that you're running for your site and using the highest version possible so every version of php is faster than the last one so version 8.1 is faster than 8.0 8.2 is faster than 8.1 so you want to check what PHP version you're running and update it. It's not going to, if you have a very slow add to cart, it's not going to make it lightning fast, but every little bit helps. Um, so that's worth checking out and making sure that that's all, you know, it's you add the highest version your site supports. Probably the last one there on the list is optimize your JavaScript. So use a plugin like WP Rocket or Flying Press and make sure that you've got... <coughs> I'm assuming you have caching in place, but make sure you've got the JavaScript optimized. So on most sites, the add to cart is an Ajax or JavaScript operation. So if you have a lot of JavaScript on the site already doing a lot of work, um, when you execute that add to cart button, it may be competing or when the user hits the add to cart button, that JavaScript, op <coughs> JavaScript execution might be competing with other JavaScript you have installed. So Similar to the plugins, if you do a clean up on the site, so check through, make sure you don't have tracking codes for stuff that you're not using anymore, um, that you're not subscribed to anymore, and make sure that that's optimized. Third party stuff ideally goes in Google Tag Manager. It's fired with a window loader trigger um, as opposed to a page view trigger. Using something like WP Rocket or Flying Pages to defer the JavaScript or pause the JavaScript. And that'll get you kind of the maximum performance or the maximum optimization out of that kind of third-party JavaScript. Some of the things we didn't talk about, uh, just looking through the article, what I missed, security stuff. So <clears throat> with Cloudflare, you can filter a lot of the crap hitting the site. So we have another article about Cloudflare page rules. If you just search Cloudflare page rules, WP speed fix, you'll find it. And we have three simple rules to speed up your site. There's a few Cloudflare rules here to block scrapers, to block brute force attacks. So it'd be worth adding those rules to Cloudflare. If you're not going to use Cloudflare, even, and you can use these rules even on the, on the free plan. If you're not going to use these, if you're not going to use Cloudflare, using a plugin like WordFence may help as well. The free version is probably fine. Basically, you're trying to remove as much workload from the site as possible. So by blocking crawlers, scrapers, SEO crawlers, things like that, you free up the load on the site so we can just focus on doing what it needs to do. So that's the whole idea of moving the workload off to Cloudflare, it's basically <coughs> removing the workload entirely if we can. And you'll see there's some disallows that we typically add here. Um, some, depending on how the site's set up and your theme set up, some sites will be telling crawlers and even Google crawler, Google's crawler to basically add and remove things to the cart and the wish list very rapidly. So we'll often find sites are falling over intermittently with 502 and 504 errors when crawlers come along because they're adding and removing things to the cart multiple times per second. So doing things like adding disallows to the robots file like these here. So disallowing the add to cart and add to wish list, that can often stop that. Looking in the server logs is probably the best place to dig into this stuff. It is a bit more technical. If you're a developer, then it's easy. So jump into the server log and have a look at the access log and just download it and just filter by anything that has a query string. And you might find that add to cart, add to wish list is a very common one. If the theme or the site has a search filter in the sidebar, that can also be a problem. Those search filters can also be crawled um, by SEO crawlers and Google as well. And those will absolutely hammer the performance because they're not cached. So. Some of the ways to fix that are just block those with a robots file. You need to be careful because some 
uh, WooCommerce sites are using those filters as actual pages. If that's the case, then setting up the caching to actually cache those query strings would be the other way to do it. And that way that you know they're already pre-built, so when those crawlers and scrapers come along, they're not going to hammer the site. That pretty much covers it for the big stuff. Probably if we're going to pick one or two things here, that database optimization from Servbolt, making sure you're in good hosting, which I assume you're on, and also the high performance auto storage. Those would probably be the three big hit items. If the card is really, really slow, like it's noticeably five seconds to add to the card or even 10 seconds in an extreme example, fixing those things might get you a 50% a drop in that speed even more. So those would be the ones I'd start with. That other stuff, the optimizing the JavaScript and Cloudflare and security stuff, things like that. That's another optimization on top that might give you a 10 or 20% gain on top of that again. But yeah, those the database, high performance auto storage and getting on better hosting would be the way to go. If you're looking for help with site speed, there's a few things we can do for you. If you head to our website, you can request a free speed audit here. That would be a good place to start if you want us to help you. Just submit that form and one of the team will come back to you in a day or so with what we can do and how, how we can help. We might be able to see some easy wins, quick wins there for SEO or site speed. There's also some stuff under here. There's a free WordPress speed test. So that takes kind of one minute and 60 to 90 seconds. There's no opt-in required. It'll give you a detailed list of recommendations on how you can improve your site speed. And also our free Core Web Vitals report will give you the historical site speed. So those are a few kind of free tools to get you started. There's no opt-in required for these two. So well worth checking out. Um, love to hear from you in the comments. Have any questions? Have any ways we can kind of improve the content or make changes? Would love to hear from you. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Cheers.